Welcome Agile friends, my name is Richard Copeland and I'm hosting this special session with our speaker, Jimena Saavedra. In this session, we'll learn about effective requests. Welcome Jimena. Hi everyone. First, I'd like to start by thanking the Agile Alliance Summit for inviting me to be part of this amazing event. It's truly an honor to be here today, sharing insights with all of you. And I'd also like to give a special thanks to Richard for being here with me and guiding this conversation. I'm really looking forward to our chat and diving into this topic that I'm really passionate about. In this session, um, as Agile coaches, we'll learn uh, about which values are missing in your team and how to discover them with effective requests. There are also other sessions um, in the Agile Online, Online Summit 2024 that touch on this topic. Don't miss those. For example, Caitlin Walker, who will be um, advising us on clean questions and how to use these um, can enhance our coaching skills. Check out the other sessions at agileonlinesummit.com. But now it's time to focus on our guest speaker and our topic for this session. Jimena, you're passionate about how effective requests can help teams discover missing values. What inspired you to present this topic at the Agile Online Summit? Thanks, Richard. So when I start working with teams and being listened to their pain points, a lot of complaints arise between teams, individuals, departments. However, these needs are sometimes expressed as what I want the other person to give me, and for some reason, which I will explain later, uh, the other person or people often fail to understand. So I believe that uh, by clearly expressing or stating what I need and clarifying the need itself, uh, we can start to see which value is underlying or missing. Uh, it seems like um, the way teams express their needs can often get lost in translation. How do you help them shift from simply expressing expressing complaints to clearly articul articulating what, what they need? And what's the first step you take in guiding them towards making more effective requests? Yes, so the tool that helped me understand this was the liberating structure called What I Need From You. Um, and this is done by the guidance uh, of a facilitator or agile coach and it will allow people to express their needs to others through some structured technique. Um, let me explain you the pure technique and how I adapt it. So the pure technique found on libertystructures.com explains the teams are formed and each team identifies a spokesperson who in the first stage gathers the team's request to the other teams. So the spokesperson from each team then expresses this request. They note down the request and return to their teams to analyze them. Um, then the responses are given with only three possible options. Yes, no, or kind of need more information, didn't get it. So additional rounds may be needed to reach agreements. However, in the context that I was facilitating, I wasn't really sure if the team had enough trust or psychological safety to openly express these requests in public, uh, especially when teams include members of management or C-level. So the technique might not work as, as intended if that trust isn't strong enough to stay what's needed genuinely. So we adapted the technique without losing its essence. That's very important. We allow people to submit their requests through a simple Google form. So the question was very simple. What do you need from Team X? Well, thanks, Hermione. I, I, I remember one of the key points you highlighted when you submitted the tool is that Agile coaches can help by mentoring teams to make effective requests. Could you walk us through how you approach this mentoring process? How do you guide the teams in learning to make more effective and actionable requests? Sure. Uh, in my opinion, this is a task that requires a lot of empathy because you are helping people to truly understand what they need. So some coaching skills are needed there. You have to know how to listen. 
uh, with the participation's permission, uh, I was able to review these Google Forms. Uh, they have 